Morning, everybody. It's your boy Al. Um, it is Wednesday. Um, getting ready for the big fight this weekend, Canelo Triple G. I'm excited about this fight. Um, very seldom that you get to see two good punchers like this, two good action fighters like this fight. I haven't been this excited uh, about a fight like this since probably uh, Trinidad de La Hoya. Of course, that fight ended up being a stinker. Uh, I don't think this fight will be a stinker. I think this fight will be more like Gerald McClellan and Julian Jackson when you had those two big bombers going at it. And as soon as the bell rang, I mean, all you heard was hard shots landing on heads and bodies because those two guys trying to knock each other out. Um, I do think this is a very unique fight in the sense that you have a um, European, Eastern European fighter, Russian fighter um, in Triple G against um, Canelo, who is a Mexican fighter. Um, but I think you'll have to see something that you, you're usually not used to seeing. And I think you'll have to see, in order for Canelo to win, you'll have to see the Mexican fighter become more Americanized. Uh, what I mean is this. Um, if, if Triple G's handlers or, or if Canelo's handlers um, were smart, they would sit him down and show him um, Meldrick Taylor versus Chavez. They would show him Cotto versus Margarito and say, um, these are the two fighters that you have to become to beat Triple G. You have to be a mover. You have to be a guy who punches and bunches, who moves. Um, Cotto, before he was awesome, as we found out, robbed um, against Margarito because Margarito had loaded gloves, was boxing magnificently against margarito um so was um taylor against chavez but we all know what happened in that fight another fight um de la hoya versus trinidad de la hoya was boxing beautifully before he ran out of gas i think that that's who canelo is going to have to become to have a chance to beat triple g i suspect that um gennady golovkin is a fighter who is a lot like Felix Trinidad in the sense that he can't, his punching power comes from the fact that he throws everything into his punches and he can't do that while his feet are moving. Um, so he'll have to set his feet. Um, if you get, keep him on the move, Jacobs kept him on the move a lot. So he wasn't able to really set and throw punches like he was used to. Ultimately, we saw how Trinidad was undressed by De La Hoya and then Hopkins um, in that aspect. Um, I see this fight playing out like this. I see um, Canelo Alvarez coming out early, and I see him boxing beautifully. You know, it's funny. Canelo Alvarez um, learned a lot. It's become a much better fighter after taking a loss to Floyd Mayweather Jr. He took that loss, and he's become a, a lot better. It kind of reminds me of Marco Antonio Barrera um, when he lost to Junior Jones. You know, when, when Marco Antonio Barrera, those you remember Barrera, when he was young and undefeated, he was this hardened, come straight ahead, hard left hooking, left hook to the body, undefeated Mexican fighter. And then he got clowned. And he got schooled twice by Junior Jones. He got knocked out the first time, got thoroughly outboxed the second time. And at the time, Junior Jones was probably the best one-two puncher in the sport. He had probably the best left jab in the sport. And he basically gave Barrera a one-on-one -on -one boxing lesson on jabbing, 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 and, and throwing straight right hands. And it was funny, after Barrera took those two losses, he became almost the same thing. He became this jabbing, boxing, moving fighter who ultimately extended his career because he learned from the two losses against Junior Jones. He took what Jones taught him, applied it to his game, and had five or six years added to his boxing career because he took what Jones taught him in those losses and added it to his repertoire. And I think that's what Canelo has done in his loss to Mayweather. He's added a lot of what he what he saw Mayweather doing to him. He added it to his repertoire. And I think it's going to extend his boxing career. I think it's already made him a much better fighter. Um, but I, I, I do see Canelo, who who appears to be, when they, they stand next to each other, he appears to be much smaller uh, than Triple G. I see him um, using his boxing skills early on to um get ahead of triple g i see triple g charging late i see him doing a lot of damage i see both of these fighters doing a lot of damage um to one another um, but ultimately what i do see happening is triple g um walking canelo down um 
I see him inflicting a lot of, of damage to Canelo. Um, and I see him um, almost stopping Canelo, but I, I see Canelo making it to the bell. Um, so I'm going to go Triple G um, by close decision. It will be a close decision um, because Canelo will have built up such a, a big lead early on in the fight. But I see Triple G charging late. I see him um, not really being affected by Canelo's punches um, at, at the middleweight division. And I see him um, winning the fight by a close decision. Um, and then I'm going to I'm going to call after he beats Canelo. Um, I'm going to call for what nobody's called for. And I'm going to call I'm going to call Triple G out a little bit because, you know, other fighters, when they clear out their divisions, the first thing we say is, well, it's time for you to move up and wait. But nobody seems to call Triple G out on that. They seem to be comfortable with him just beating all these nobodies and staying in middleweight and not moving up to fight the better fighters at super middleweight and light heavyweight. But if you beat Canelo, it's time for you to get out of that division and go fight somebody better, bro. You got to you gotta stretch out there. We don't let we don't let other fighters get away with staying in a in a weak division and just ruling. So you can't get away with it either. If if you beat Canelo, it's time for you to move up and wait and and show us what you really got. We know you can beat up these little middleweights, but it's time for you to move up and show us what you really got. So tell me what you think. Later.